So in the seventh problem, uh, we are required to um, draw the graph of this conic. So we need to identify the conic. Then we need to find the center vertices and uh, the foci. So uh, we will convert this into the standard form of the conic. So for that, uh, we will um, convert uh, these into perfect squares. So collecting the terms containing x, so we will get 7 uh, x square. Then uh, when we take 7 outside, uh, so we will have minus 6x. Uh, so that will uh, become minus uh, 42. Then uh, taking 3 outside from these two terms containing y square, so we will get uh, y square plus 2y, then uh, minus 39 equal to 0. So to complete the square, we will add and subtract 9. So x square minus 6x plus 9 minus 9, then 3y uh, square plus 2y uh, plus 1 minus 1 that will be equal to 39. So that will be 7x uh, minus 3 the whole square. Then there will be a minus 63 here. Then 3y uh, plus 1 uh, whole square minus 3 will be equal to 39. So we will get 7x uh, minus 3 whole square plus 3y uh, plus 1 whole square equal to 39 uh, plus 69 will come sorry 66 uh, will come uh, so uh, we will get uh, so this will be equal to uh, 105 uh, so upon dividing by 105 on both sides so 7 by 105 uh, x minus 3 whole square plus 3 uh, y plus 1 whole square by 105 will be equal to 1. So that will give us x minus 3 uh, whole square by, uh, so this will be uh, 15 plus y plus 1 uh, whole square by uh, 35 uh, equal to 1. So this will be the equation of the conic. Uh, so uh, the conic uh, will be an ellipse. Now, uh, here uh, a square value will be equal to 35 and b square will be equal to uh, 50. So, uh, it will be a conic uh, in this shape where the major axis um, is uh, about the y axis. And the uh, center of the conic will be, uh, so it is x minus 3 and y plus 1. So, the center will be uh, 3 and minus 1. So, center will be hk so that will be equal to uh, 3 and uh, minus 1 and uh, the vertices uh, will be uh, given by so here uh, vertices will be given by uh, h k plus or minus uh, a now here a will be equal to root of 35 so that will be uh, 3 minus 1 plus or minus 35. So that will be the uh, vertices and uh, the foci will be uh, given by so that will be uh, h and k plus or minus uh, a e and a e will be root of a square minus b square so that will be root of uh, 35 minus 15 so which is equal to root 20 uh, so we will get 3 minus 1 plus or minus uh, root 20. So those are the uh, foci uh, and uh, vertices. Now if we uh, look at the graph, uh, so the center will be, uh, so the x coordinate will be 3 and y coordinate will be minus 1. So the uh, center will be uh, somewhere here and uh, uh, these will be the vertices. So vertices will be uh, 3 uh, plus or minus 3 and minus 1 plus or minus uh, root uh, 35. Uh, so, we will have the uh, graph as so the coordinates of vertices will be 3 and when we evaluate minus 1 plus root 35, we will be getting 4.91607 and this will be the uh, other vertex. Uh, so, uh, the uh, graph will be uh, something like this. So, the major axis be in the y direction uh, so that will be the uh, shape of the ellipse.
question number 8 we need to graph this corning section so we need to classify the corning section find the vertex focus and uh, directrix so we will uh, complete the square term for y so that will be 4 y square minus 8y uh, so 4 uh, we have y square minus 8y so we must add uh, 16 and subtract uh, 16 then uh, we have x plus 68 uh, equal to 0 so that will be 4 uh, this is y minus 4 whole square and uh, 4 into uh, minus 16 will be minus 64 uh, plus x plus 68 equal to 0 so we will get 4 y minus 4 whole square uh, plus x uh, plus 4 equal to 0. Uh, so that will give us uh, x equal to uh, minus 4 y minus 4 whole square minus 4. So uh, that is x is equal to minus 1 by uh, 4 into 1 by 16 uh, y minus 4 uh, whole square minus so, uh, this is of the standard form x equal to minus 1 by uh, 4p y minus k uh, whole square plus h. Uh, so, uh, h will be, so hk will be equal to uh, minus 4, uh, 4. Uh, so, that will be the uh, vertex. So, vertex uh, will be uh, equal to minus 4. 4 and uh, the focus in this case will be um, the coordinate uh, h minus p k so that will be equal to so h value is minus 4 and p value is uh, 1 by 16 and k is 4 so that will be minus 64 minus 1 so minus 65 by 16 uh, 4 so that will be the uh, focus and the equation of uh, directrix will be so equation of directrix uh, will be uh, x equal to uh, h plus uh, p so that is x equal to uh, minus uh, 4 and p value is 1 by 16 uh, so we will get x equal to uh, so that is going to give us minus 63 by 16 so the uh, equation of directrix is x equal to uh, minus 63 by 16 and uh, the uh, graph of the uh, conic will be so it will be uh, of this shape the conic we have a negative sign uh, so it will be uh, opening uh, towards uh, the left and uh, the directrix will be aligned like this so uh, the directrix will be uh, minus 63 uh, by uh, 16 uh, so we have uh, x equal to minus 63 by uh, 16 uh, so this will be the line and the uh, conic is centered at uh, the point minus 4 uh, 4 so that uh, point so let us take that point somewhere here uh, so the uh, conic uh, will be shape so this will be the uh, shape of the parabola and this will be the directrix question number nine we need to find the equation of circle that is uh, tangent to the equation y equal to minus two uh, that has center uh, at uh, minus six uh, twelve uh, so uh, we have y equal to uh, minus two so that is going to uh, touch the uh, circle and uh, the center is at uh, minus 6 uh, 12 so uh, so we have the point minus 6 uh, 12 and uh, the circle will be uh, touching uh, this point uh, so uh, this point is uh, going to be uh, minus 6 minus 2 uh, so therefore uh, this distance will be uh, equal to 40 so the radius will be uh, equal to uh, 14 and we already know the uh, center center will be minus 6 12 so uh, therefore the uh, equation of the circle will be 
x minus minus x whole square plus y minus 12 uh, whole square equal to 14 square. So that will be x plus 6 uh, whole square plus y minus 12 whole square equal to 196. So that will be the uh, equation of the circle. Problem we need to um, sketch the uh, graph of the conic and we need to uh, find the center. So we need to find the type of conic and then uh, sketch it. So first uh, we will take the uh, coefficients. Uh, we will complete the uh, squares of x and y. Uh, so we have 2 uh, x square plus x uh, plus uh, 2 y square plus 7 uh, y. Uh, then uh, we have 17 uh, equal to 0. Uh, so for completing the perfect square, so this will be x square plus 2 so we must have x into 1 by 2 in order to get x. So the b square term will be 1 by 4. So minus 1 by 4 also will come. Then here we will have 2 uh, y square plus 2 into 7 by 2 y uh, plus 7 by 2 whole square uh, minus 7 by 2 whole square uh, plus 17 uh, equal to 0. So, we will get 2 uh, x plus 1 by 2 uh, whole square minus 1 by 4 uh, plus 2. So, here we will get y plus 7 by 2 uh, whole square minus. So, this will be 49 by 4 uh, plus 17 equal to 0. So, that will be 2 uh, x plus 1 by 2 whole square. Uh, then we will have minus 1 by 2 plus 2 y plus 7 by 2 uh, whole square minus 49 by 2 uh, plus 17 equal to 0. So, we will get 2x uh, plus 1 by 2. Sorry, this will be uh, square will be outside. So, x plus 1 by 2 whole square plus 2 y plus 7 by 2 whole square will be equal to. Uh, so, this will be minus 50 by 2. So, that is going to be minus uh, 25. So, minus 25 uh, plus 17 uh, will be uh, minus 8. So, we will get plus 8 on the uh, right side. So, that is uh, going to give us. Now, dividing by 2 on both sides. So, we will get uh, x plus 1 by 2 whole square plus uh, y plus 7 by 2 uh, whole square equal to uh, 4. So, therefore, this is an equation of a uh, circle. So, the uh, conic will be uh, a circle and the uh, center will be at minus 1 by 2 uh, minus 7 by uh, 2. So, we are having a circle with center at minus 1 by 2 and 7 by 2 and uh, r square will be equal to 4. So, the radius will be equal to uh, 2, uh, 4. The center will be, so minus uh, 1 by 2 will be uh, 0.5 and y value will be 3.5. So, we will have some value here. Uh, so, uh, we will have a circle like this. So, that will be the uh, equation of uh, the conic. So, next question we have the conic. Uh, so, we need to uh, graph the conic section, then classify the conic section, then we need to find the foci vertices, asymptotes and uh, center. So, uh, we will complete the squares. So, taking minus 9 outside, so we will have x square, then from minus 18x, take minus 9 outside. So, we will get 2x. So, for completing the square, add and subtract 1. Then from the next term, from the y terms, take 4 outside, so we will get y square. Uh, plus 4y. So, adding and subtracting 4 and then we have minus 29 equal to 0. So, that will be minus 9 uh, x plus 1 whole square plus 9 plus 4. So, we will get y plus 2 whole square minus 16 uh, equal to 29. Uh, so, that will be minus 9 uh, x plus 1 whole square plus 4 uh, y plus 2 whole square equal to 29 plus 16 minus uh, 9. So, that will be equal to 36. So, uh,